So, woke we, woke why, I'm not certain of the pronunciation, whatever it is, it's an awesome website. You definitely have to check this out. Everybody who wants to learn how to code microcontrollers, especially the common consumer level microcontrollers like the Arduino, uh, the Raspberry Pico, need to check out this website and get yourself an account. If you look at the main page, you can sign up right here and you can see that they um, support these three microprocessors, but that's not all. In fact, this site is this living, breathing, constantly changing site. Um, it's, it seems to be supported mainly by Yuri Shaken and a, and a handful of others. They're updating the site at all times. <clears throat> I learned about it via a Hackaday U class that I took on the Pico. Yuri was the instructor and he had us use this site to learn how to program the Pico. And it is truly amazing. I'm going to show you in just a second how amazing it is. But once you sign up for an account, you'll start receiving emails and you'll see that they're constantly adding new components, uh, screens, all sorts of stuff. So if you find yourself in a situation where maybe you're strapped for cash, you can't go out and buy all these components. You can't set up your own lab. That's cool. Maybe you're a kid and you're just trying to learn this stuff. You are the future of technology. Go to a site like this. You are going to be amazed at how much you can learn. So let me, let me log in and let's see what happens here. I want to show you some stuff. So after you've created your account and logged in, you'll be on the main page of Wokwi. And what's interesting here is you can see the microcontrollers at the top. This is if you want to start a project with one of them. And here's some examples set up um, that you can look at to see how everything works. It's really cool. So let's just choose the flash, fast LED, excuse me. Let's do the classic blink. So this is the main work area, IDE if you will, that you're gonna be in. On the left hand side is the code and on the right hand side is the microcontroller and all of the electronic components. In this case, you can see that the microcontroller is wired to, it looks like some kind of LED. Um, if we wanna add components, we could. If we wanna remove components, you can click on it and delete it. But in this case, let's just click run and see what happens. So this code over here is driving the simulated nano and having it flash. Let's go ahead and pause it, stop it. That's pretty awesome. So you don't have to buy all this stuff. You can actually start learning today, which I just find fantastic in our, in our world today, that you can learn these skills through this simulator without having to outlay any cash. This is what kids need, even adults. You should always be learning something new every day. If we go back to the main page by clicking that icon up at the upper left, let's look at this one. Here's a display. We, again, we're using an Arduino, let's run it. So it's putting graphics on the display using the um, Adafruit GFX kit. Scroll down, you can kind of see how it works. We can change things here if we want. We can, we can screw it up basically if we wanted and we can learn. That's what it's all about. You're not gonna have the magic smoke come out. You're gonna be learning here. So let's go back again and let's take a look at something else. Let's see, just a, an amazing number. Seven segment counters, okay, let's run this one. There you go. So you, you can't, you, you've got to use this. You can just see how helpful this is. Currently, it's free to the public. I don't know what their long-term plans are. I'm impressed by it. They're constantly adding new microcontrollers. And let me address that. So if we go back to this page, you will see, you don't see the AT Tiny listed, do you? Well, let, okay, so let's say we're gonna do this with the Uno. Now, this is where the trick comes in. If you go to the documentation, which I kind of right click and open in a new window, and we look at the diagram reference here, you'll see that, okay, so we have uh, parallel shift registers, but here's the AT Tiny. Notice this name. Well, if we go back to our IDE and we edit this name and we change it, let's see here, to, woke 
we a t tiny 85 boom the microprocessor changes so that's how you as they're releasing new things and maybe not making them available yet you can start playing around with these controllers so this basically it defines your ide at this point and you can go in and you can add uh, an led you can go in and add a resistor and you can play around with it and write code for it that's what you want to learn from this site I'm not going to show you how to write code you'll figure that part out what I really am trying to stress to you is just how useful this site can be for learning to me it's just totally amazing let's say you want to use, learn how to use an IR receiver uh, a membrane keyboard a servo everything Look at this. This is using shift registers and the AT Tiny to drive a large L, um, um, LED display. Um, yeah, so you press go and there you go. You got your resistors in play, everything, and you have this code. Anyway, I highly recommend you get an account on this site. You're going to learn a lot. Support Yuri Shaked and, and the rest of the people who are, who are on the site. There is a blog page for it. Um, it looks, I, I haven't read most of this, but I mean, help these guys out. This is just awesome. We need more things like this. All right. Well, that's it for the, for the quick tip of the day. Learn something new every day. Now you've got a tool to let you learn something new every day. All right. Take care.